Hi everyone, today I'm just doing a quick review on this awesome new Create React app that was released by Facebook today. Um, as you can see, it's available on GitHub. It's already got almost 2,000 stars in not long at all. Very popular. What it does is it lets you start, get started with coding a React app with absolutely zero configuration. One of the notorious issues that people face when they start working with React is they have to learn setting up Webpack, Babel, ESLint and all, all the tooling that goes around React. Well, this package lets you just get started and work on your React app with zero configuration. Let's, let's see how it works. So the first thing you need to do is npm install globally create React app. Let's do just that. npm install dash g create React app. Once you've got that installed, you can pretty much just create new apps. So let's give it a shot. Create React app and I'll call it my React demo. Boom. It does take a little while to install, but that'll bring all the dependency that you need and completely hide away all the tooling so you don't have to set up. Here we go, that's finished. Happy hacking. So you can see here, you have an npm start that'll start your dev server. You can build the production version of your app. And very, very interesting, this npm rum eject. That lets you pretty much release all the hidden tooling just make it available if you want to at some point say, hey, now I've got this, I'm going to take over the tooling. Thanks for the boilerplate. All right, let's CD into our my React demo and just try. Oh, first of all, let's open the package to see what's there. So you've got the node dependency. You've got an SRC folder and see no webpack config, no Yesly, no nothing. You just get your app.js and the index.js that initiates the app. All right, let's start it. npm start. And here we go, look at that. Welcome to React. It works with Webpack under the scenes. When you save a file, it'll reload it like you used to. So let's try that. Let's go into my app.js and say, well, that was Easy. Save, go back. Here we go. How cool is this? One more thing I want to show you. You can see here in package.json, we have one single dev dependency and it's React scripts. What I want to do now is run the npm run eject command. So it'll release, like I said before, all the hidden tooling and make it available to us. So I'll stop my server and go npm run eject. Once you've done this, you cannot go back. So it'll ask, are you sure you want to do this? I am sure. Yes. You can see all the dependencies added and now it's installing them on my machine. If I go back to my package, JSON, now it's got a whole lot of dependencies. It's got some scripts for the start and build commands. You can see them in package JSON here. It'll run these two scripts. And it's got some beautiful configuration file for Webpack, both for development and production. A nice ESLint set of settings and Babel as well. So great stuff. Now you can continue working on your React app and take over the tooling. But if you wanna just get started and get going with the React app without messing around, this is really a great tool. Go check it out on GitHub. Read the documentation on the Facebook React website. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.